All right, my fellow coxswains, just a few things I wanted to go over today for just basic safety rules, okay? So first of all, when we're landing on the dock, okay? This is the dock. We can talk about shoving off too. But, uh, okay, let's talk about shoving off. This is the first process. Once you have your entire crew, you know, set up, this is the A, buddy. You, uh, coxswain sits here, you got your sits, let's pretend this is a floor, okay? You have your crew ready, you say oars out, always say oars out because the boat can't balance. Uh, the only time I've ever seen a boat flip or gain water, actually, was when uh, ki kids uh, took, did sit in a boat and uh, were, the oars were not out. And it wobbled and it uh, gained a lot of water and they had to pump the water out. Okay, so uh, make sure to do that. When you shove, first of all, if you're with me, this is what I want you to do. I want you to say count off from bow when ready. And this is very important. The rowers must be ready to not just say the number, just to say it. Take the time to make sure that your oar lock is tight, your foot stretcher is tight, your feet are in if they're, if they're supposed to be in. Uh, I would like to be feet in when you're on and off the dock. Um, so, and then everything else is proper. Then they say the number and until stroke says their number, uh, you are not to shove off. Then make sure they all get hands on the dock, all the connection points. Then they say lean away, make sure they lean away. Otherwise the riggers on this side will hit the dock and scrape and they will completely stop everything. They lean away and shove. So they send the boat out this way. At the same time, when you're in eight, I want one and three only to pull on their oar this way, okay, and pull off. So they swing the bow out. Then you have bow and uh, two row out that way, okay? Even if we go on the other side of the river to go on the other side of the pot, we're going to go this way a little bit to make that turn. I do not want to see with me, not until you're ready, okay, different story with varsity crews if they need to be, to push off with every oar going this way. Again, this creates a lot of wobble, especially if there's traffic going this way and wakes, and this is where we can make a lot of mistakes and uh, put water in the boat, okay? So you guys already know about that. Once we shove, we shove and then by pairs get out of the way for about two to 300 meters and then wait for a coach. Coming in, right? When you're coming in, wind is important. I already went over this. If the wind is blowing this way into the dock, you can come in uh, very uh, shallow. You can come in this way, aim here, then start aiming out, then get in front of the dock, etc. Or come in here, aim out, and then get in front of the dock. Never, so the dock has a point. Never aim beyond the point, okay? If you're aiming at the point, it's already too far. This is if you're coming in at an angle. Do not go past this point. Otherwise, you'll come in like this, like this, and then you'll hit the dock, and you'll have to back out or try again. So this is if the wind is blowing you in. Right, but ideally, if you're coming in at an angle, bloom, get in front of the dock, have one row at the end and then eight hold. Boom, you're in front of the dock, the wind will blow you in. Conversely, if the wind is blowing the other way, this way, okay? At this point, let's uh, make our dock a little shorter. Right, there's launches here, there's launches here, launches here. Um, here's a seawall. You are to come in closely here so the seawall protects you from the wind, right? And then parallel, parallel to the dock. And then here you are aiming right at that point, constantly, like this, boom, at that point, boom, at that point, boom, at that point. So that when you're ready to come in right at the last second, you're straight and you're not gonna be blown out too far, okay? 
even if you're here when the wind is blowing this way, it's not a terrible idea. But it's not, I want to say it's not a terrible idea. It's a bad idea, but it's not the end of the world. Don't freak out. Never talk. If you're a rower, do not talk. Unless there is an emergency or imminent danger, by me, and imminent I mean a collision, do not start coxing for the rover, the, uh, for the coxswain. The coxswain will never improve if they are not going through the mistake and failure and learning process, okay? That's the only way. Once you're on the dock, okay, I want everybody to constantly close any gaps before they get out. So walk the boat down by holding it. Watch the goose poop, always uh, make sure you're uh, washing your hands afterwards. Walk it all the way out, close any gaps. At this point, Coxon says, all one foot out and out. Get out, pull your oar in at this point as you come out and start taking the oars out, placing them right here or the next available spot out of the way of the walk. Okay? And here, it's the same thing. You gotta pull these oars in, just like the opposite. Once these oars are out, I want everybody to lunge. Doggy, stop barking. Oh. Buddy, stop barking. He really doesn't like the horse. Enough. So you continue on. You take these oars out. Once they're de-rigged, I mean, sorry, de oared I want everybody to line up at the ends. There's going to be three people because four and five are taking oars away. Three people. I want the strongest person here, the strongest person here, and by strongest I mean tallest. Doesn't matter where they sit. Then Coxon, standing by the stake, says, hands on, up to waist, ready up, then they go up to waist, then up to heads, etc. Okay? Then you walk it out, always turn first if you can, or make the turn here. I'd rather like I would avoid making the turn up top near our racks. All right, so while, while I have you here, I want to talk about something about when going through the bridges, okay? Let's see. That's our bridge arches, right? Nice little bridge up top. Yay. So imagine, no matter what arch this is, first of all, if this is the uh, Potomac Boat Club, we don't go through here. That's for WNL. They get really upset. It's a safety thing. Let's not go through there unless we have to land on that dock. Second, if you're approaching a bridge, remember, here, as the water com comes in through a bridge, it gets faster because it gets pushed inward, okay? It becomes a little tiny funnel. So going through bridges, the water is always faster. Approach it with more care and more awareness. This collision, this collision right here, is more likely than you think. Because of this current, if you collide with these pillars, you will continue to be pushed against it really hard. That pressure of the water is what actually may crack the boat. If it's pushing against an oar, it'll crack the oar. If it's pushing against a rigger, it'll crack the gunnel. If it's pushing against the end of the boat, it will crack the bow or the stern. That's what actually is doing it, okay? So water gets faster through bridges. Never stop there. Always approach in the middle if you can. If you must, come here, but be very careful. Always look out and be in your highest alert possible, okay? On the other side of the bridge, never stop before a bridge 100 meters and after 100 meters. You never want to do that, okay? Just because the visibility is so bad, people walking around, etc. I mean, people moving around in their boats, etc. Kayakers, it's only going to get more busy on the water. It's just a bad idea to do that, okay? So that's all I have for today. I hope you uh, learned a lot.